My guest today is Hannah Stevens, Director of Social Impact at M2G Ventures. Uh, we're here to talk about mental health, and Hannah, thanks for your time today. Um, give us some background on how M2G uh, got into this uh, topic of uh, mental health. Yes, well thank you for mm -hmm. having me. Um, so M2G Ventures um, started as a commercial real estate firm in 2014, founded by twin sisters mm -hmm. Jessica Miller-Essel and Susan Grupe Miller. And then following um, the loss of a loved one to bipolar disorder in 2017, mm -hmm. um, they decided to channel their heartbreak into action by launching our mental health initiative, mm -hmm. which is a social impact project turned nonprofit dedicated to mm -hmm. changing the way we diagnose and treat mental illness. So part of that process involved um, partnering with UT Southwestern's mm -hmm. Center for Depression Research and Clinical Care. In the field of medicine, there's a ton of acronyms, so we call it the CDRC. Mm -hmm. um, so they are a national center for excellence in the um, research and treatment of mood disorders. Um, founded in 2015 by Dr. Madhugar Trivedi. Um, however, he has been doing research into depression and bipolar disorder for decades with his team at UT Southwestern. So mm -hmm. Susan and Jessica, once they realized that they wanted to do something in the mental health space, they started interviewing um, hospital groups, doctors, other professionals to try to figure out what they wanted to do. And eventually they connected with um, Dr. Mm -hmm. Trivedi and mm -hmm. UT Southwestern and they were just very compelled with his work and his research. And so they partnered to pledge a um, million dollars for the CDRC to bring a location to Fort Worth. Mm -hmm. So all of this supports the clinical site at Moncrief Cancer Institute here in Fort Worth. We are supporting mm -hmm. um, their research. So. Okay. All that he provides in terms of resources, um, research, uh, we just wanted to bring that to Fort Worth mm -hmm. because there's you know millions of people here who um, who would benefit from such resources and services and research. Okay, cool. So you guys are helping fundraise for them. Um, we are in, in a big way. How much money have you guys raised so far? Yeah. Um, so I will. Say we're over seven hundred and thirty thousand mm -hmm. yeah. dollars. Yes, getting close to that million dollar mark. We are very, very close. close. In fact, we're hoping yes. to meet um, our goal at our fundraiser, mm -hmm. Art of the Mind, mm -hmm. um, November later. second. Yes, we're going to talk about that Next today. Month. That's a big deal. Okay, so um, as you said, you partnered with uh, UT Southwestern. Um, so, what does that uh, that partnership uh, look like? What is what kind of research are you? So the CDRC is a nationally recognized uh, center for excellence in the research mm -hmm. and treatment of mood disorders, specifically bipolar disorder and depression. So the work being done within the center is bringing a better understanding of the causes of depression. Um, it's improving existing treatments and then also creating opportunities for new treatments and outcomes. Okay. Okay, cool. So you guys are journey, generating income, and then uh, fourth, if, if this works, could be uh, pioneering some of this uh, research, right? But funding is an important uh, component of, of what's going to happen. Absolutely. I mean, I think funding is essential to research. Yeah. Um, however, I think the opportunity that we have here in Tarrant County is mm -hmm. that Fort Worth could be um, a part of being on the frontier mm -hmm. of advancing um, mental health outcomes. Okay. And you know, as the 12th largest city, mm -hmm. we have millions of people who suffer from all sorts of depressive disorders. Mm -hmm. um, and so just to have that opportunity to have a presence mm -hmm. for the CDRC in Fort Worth is essential. Okay. Um, let's talk about this um, event coming up. So now we understand where the money's going toward, um, a little bit more about the type of research that's being done. Uh, what can folks expect on November 2nd at the uh, Art of the Mind fundraiser? It's going to be at Tannehill's Tavern. Sounds fun. It does sound fun. <laughs> um, I'm really anxious to get to that, uh, to that event because that means we made it to the event. So we are in the throes of planning right now. Mm -hmm. um, this year, we have switched up our venue. In previous years, we have hosted our um, gala at one of our properties here in Fort Worth um, at the Austrium. But just based on the nature of an evolving initiative um, in Fort Worth, we needed to have some more space. And with our connection on the real estate side mm -hmm. to the stockyards, 
uh, we decided a natural fit was okay. to host it at Tannehill's Tavern mm -hmm. and Music Hall, which is a um, great space. Yeah, new yeah. music mm -hmm. destination by Chef Tim Love. So this event is um, something we consider to be an intersection between art and science. Mm -hmm. um, it's an evening of discussion, hope, inspiration. Um, we like to educate our attendees on the incredible work mm -hmm. and research that's being done at the CDRC. Um, we hear testimony from patients who are benefiting from such research. Mm -hmm. Um, and then all of this takes place um, before we have our art auction. Okay. Okay, cool. We've got some beautiful artwork in the room. So uh, what can folks uh, bid on? All sorts of things. Yeah. Um, so this is the first year that we're also having a silent auction, which is going to include some very cool, mm -hmm. um, very unique experiences. But of course, um, the crown jewel of the night is our um, art auction. Yeah. So we commission artwork from local, regional, and national artists. Um, and the artwork that they produce is kind of reflective of their mental health journey or mm -hmm. something that inspires them as it relates to mental health. Okay. Um, it's an opportunity to really showcase the talent, um, but it's all unique artwork um, from very well-known mm -hmm. and even emerging artists. Mm -hmm. um, Jay Wilkinson, Riley Holloway, folk, local folks would know those two mm -hmm. names. Yeah. Riley Holloway, uh, Jacob Levitt, Kyle Steed from Dallas, Katie Murray, who of course okay, is- Katie Murray. You know, she's our chief creative officer here at OTG, okay. actually. So she curates all of the artwork. Um, this year we have, I believe, 12 artists mm -hmm. participating. And so the audience has opportunity to bid on their artwork. Um, and of course, all proceeds mm -hmm. from the evening benefit the mission and the work of mm -hmm. the CDRC, which of course helps us towards that okay. um, $1 million fundraising goal. I feel like we're talking about like a key area uh, membership drive here, but we are really close to the goal, <laughs> right? Yeah, you know? We're very close. Yeah, it's exciting. It's very exciting. Yeah. Um, I think more than anything, it's just from, you know, being a part of the initiative for almost two years now and just seeing the reach mm -hmm. that we've had. Um, okay. You know, there's so many people who are affected by mental illness. We all know someone or relate to someone. Absolutely. Is, yeah. And so it's just, you know, it's kind of essential to get that conversation started in order to kind of take away that stigma that's associated. Mm -hmm. So the topic needs to become mainstream. Let's talk about how we're going to properly diagnose and treat. And so this event, mm -hmm. um, it really brings a lot of essential people together, people who have influence in the community, people who have been very affected by um, depression or bipolar disorder. It's a very personal mm -hmm. event for a lot of people, but it, it's, it provides a platform for what we're trying to do. And so through N2G's mm -hmm. connections in real estate and adjacent industries, um, we have a lot of people who come out and support and I don't know, it's a very, it's a very uplifting mm -hmm. evening. Well, we wish uh, him the best and you guys the best in your work uh, promoting what uh, the, the medical industry is doing right now. So it's really fascinating to learn uh, how much is going on, how much is yet, and that still needs to happen. Absolutely. So, all right, so thanks for your time, Hannah. Well, thank you very much. It's, um, it's kind of, you know, essential for, you know, the community to really understand mm -hmm. what's happening in their city and what resources are available, what opportunities. And then of course, we're so grateful to, you know, our local publications mm -hmm. like Fort Worth Weekly for kind of helping um, highlight mm -hmm. that work. Um, so we just appreciate the opportunity to speak. Our pleasure. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much.